Hey, how you doing? It's Trader Joe's. I just figured I'd do another video. I uh, just had another idea. Um, the, the original hiker that I got from Kylie uh, was this one. And um, this is the CKC-1, which is the, I guess, the updated version of it. And it's a... Uh, um, similar size blade and this was the prototype so it's not really uh, or the test knife it's not really uh, the same size as the other ones it, it might be very similar to the other ones that he's making now the brand new ones but uh, the, the blade profile is pretty pretty similar see that the original hiker now the, the difference is the handle too um, this is a squared off handle and this is uh, more of a pointed ended handle. Blade steel's a little, uh, quite a bit thicker. You can see the uh, size of the blade steel. Um, and what I figured I would do, um, I've never really used this, like to baton or anything like that, or, or uh, I've been using it mostly for kitchen chores and stuff like that, because it comes in very handy in the kitchen and it's good size and it's, you know, it keeps a really good sharp edge. And uh, this is the L6 tool steel, and this is the uh, O1 tool steel. I've been using this around my neck mostly. You know, it's really good around the neck. You know, and it goes very nicely with uh, um, my clothing. You know, it's hard. You know, uh, you know, this seems to hide a little better underneath the shirt. I guess because the size of the handle is a little thinner. You know, um, so let's just see. What I figured I would do here is uh, I have. A log set up here. Let me just tilt this down a little bit. And let's see. Um, so I have. Shut up! Alright, so um, the other day when I was cutting that branch on the tree, uh, this was the branch I actually used on the uh, stick here next to that log. And what I figured I would try to do. Let me back that a little bit. Sorry for this. Kind of a new tripod and figure it out. Oops, got loose there. I use the log as like a base. It's not that big of a log. Something down. Let's see. Thing down. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. This fucking thing is hard here. Yeah. I'm probably holding two knives in my hand. It doesn't help. And uh, I was also told a couple of pointers about uh, if you're going to be using a knife of this size to, to uh, baton a log. Uh, and it's basically what you should do it would be to uh, come down the sides of the, the log. You know, like as if it's a uh, a, pine, a pineapple. You know, the way you would shave a pineapple. You know, so you kind of go around the uh, just the sides. You know, shaving the, the wood off. You know, so here's the log size compared to the knife and the other the uh, original hiker and the uh, 2.0. Now this still has some. Uh, this still has some. Uh, leaves on it so it's, it's kind of still alive so what I wanted to do was let me just get some of these sticks off here was to see which goes if I um, were to try to like notch into it and you know, just using straight on force without a moving branch, you know, like to cut through it just by push cutting into the wood. Which one seems to do a better job? So I'm using the uh, CKC1 right now. Just like basically push cutting and rolling it into the, into the wood and I'm, you know, moving into it gently. Trying to put you know a good amount of force on it, but 
I'm not trying to kill myself either. That knife feels like it can handle it fine. You know, the slight recurve does seem to keep a good uh, keep it from sliding around too much. There's a cat near me right now. That's uh, one of those baby cats in one of my earlier videos. Now it's almost full grown. It's a wild cat that lives outside underneath our shed. A couple of the brothers and sisters of it. We got them fixed. But the cat was very nice. Probably make a good uh, house pet. I think I'm calling him Raz in honor of Rob. So, so here's that with the uh, with the CKC one, and I'll do the same thing with the. Uh, original hiker, just to see how that goes. And again, it's a smaller blade, smaller uh, profile of the blade. You notice in some of my other videos, I tend to get in the way of the camera. I'm also trying not to show my face, because I'm kind of a famous guy. It's doing it. Feels a little bit more difficult than the uh, the other one. I guess it's the shape of the blade, you know, and the, and the convex angle as it gets near the tip. But it'll it'll do you, you know. If I was stuck out in the woods. And I had both, I think I'd be happy. If I had nothing, I'd be happy with this. If I had a choice, I'd have both. See some you know, girdling it going around. I'm trying to kind of trying to be a little bit neat about it. It does, it does a very nice job of uh, doing some detail work. See? So, now, what I figured I would try to do now would be to baton the outside skin of this pineapple off. <sighs> My back is killing me now. Ugh. Try being 42 years old. You'll see what happens. 44 years old. Fuck. That's how old I am. Alright. So here's the, uh, the log. I'm going to use the original hiker. Look at that, cut it right in half. Damn, I'm good. Problem is, once you get it in like that, I don't have much place to, uh, to strike it. You know, I could try to hit the blade tip, or you know, rather not hit the back of the handle, but, you know. get into it. Oh, I got some uh, termites going in here. So it cuts into the wood right really nice. It's a nice bite.
see that initial whack, it does go in because it gives you a nice cut into the wood. I suppose having an angled piece of wood does seem to help because it gives you some degree of uh, impact. So now let's just try the uh, TKC1. See, I cut through kind of a knot over here. So you split that wood pretty good. Here's the other side of that same knot. I'm going to try to go right through it. Convex edge split that nicely. Minimal effort. See how it's bumped out? There's a knot here. It probably was a branch at one point on this. There's a uh, beetle grub growing in there. Let's try that same area with the uh, original hiker. finger there. But the show must go on. It's having a little bit of a trouble going through that knot. I'll try this one. Maybe because of the shape of the uh, convex. It's a tough knot. Tough knot right here. This wood is very dense compared to this wood. Let's try something here. What the fuck is he doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it. Let's try a different side. This one. He's going to cut himself. He's crazy. See if these are in focus. All right. Is it in focus? All right. So the only damage really is to the edge of this little piece of wood here. Other than that, it's just uh, you know bark that's stuck on there. All right. Just you know, it's clean. Let's try the old Guinea Italian arm shaving trick.